Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to take a moment to apologize and give you guys a little update. I apologize for not posting for, it's been about a week now. I've been doing a lot of research into um, the whole alien situation or extraterrestrial situation. But uh, I've also been dealing with a lot of ascension symptoms lately. Um, I've went through several purges over the last week and it's been a rough, it's been a rough week for me. So bear with me if it seems like I'm a little rushy in this video, it's because I am. I'm very strapped for time. I've also been working a lot and uh, working a lot of overtime at work. So that's part of the reason why I haven't been posting anything. So I love you guys very much. Here's the video. I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, Giorgio Tsoukalos impersonation. I'm trying to incorporate more comedy into my videos, or at least try to be funny a little bit. But uh, in this video, I want to talk about aliens or extraterrestrials also known by the government as EBENS, or Extraterrestrial Biological Entities. The topic of aliens and UFOs has been a hot button issue for the last few years because there has been multiple sightings of different craft in the sky, and as well as um, the government coming out with drip feeding tiny little bits of information um, that is meant to separate us and divide us from the extraterrestrials that are here to help us. And the reason why they're here to help us is because they created us. Well, not just them. It was, we are a combination of multiple different species. That's why everybody looks so different from each other. And that's why we have different races on this planet is because um, this planet is an amalgamation of many, 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 many different DNA uh, lines as well as um, a product of evolution as, as well. Um, people have evolved to adapt to the area that they're um, indigenous to. And uh, indigenous peoples are actually um, original races from other planets. Um, if, you look, if you take a look at any of the indigenous um, peoples of any country or any territory, um, they have a lot of history with ancient aliens or um, being visited by sky gods. For instance, the Sumerians, as well as um, the cultures from the Austral Australasia area, there's a lot of history with um, original societies being visited by um, being that come down from the beings that come down from the sky in fiery chariots, which is um, you know UFOs or um, we'll just call them craft. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because here in the in the near future, we are going to get full disclosure. Um, every person on this planet is going to be aware of the truth and uh, just how we came to be. And we came to be by a species, uh, an alien species called the Anunnaki. And the Anunnaki combined their DNA with Syrian DNA, not people from Syria, but the star of Sirius. They have um, combined their DNA together and combined it with the, at the time, Homo erectus or... Um, I can't quite remember the other Latin name for the uh, ancient hominid species that lived on this planet. And the reason why they came here was because their planet, Nibiru, which is also part of our solar system, um, was go undergoing the same thing that we're going right now. So they were undergoing um, severe uh, global warming issues because they were an industrial species, just like us. And they were destroying their planet. And one of their solutions that they came up with was aerosolizing gold particles 
in the atmosphere to prevent some of the uh well it would just it would cool down the planet and they would be able to prolong their life on that planet and at the time when the anunnaki um, were dealing with this they were about as advanced as we are now um, and this was many many thousands of years ago they were searching the solar system and all the planets for uh, gold resources and discovered that earth has a large amount of gold deposits um, pretty much spread out equally almost throughout the throughout the globe and uh, so they came here to mine the gold from our planet and they were here for a hundred thousand years um, 150,000 mining gold um, and shipping it back to their planet and aerosolizing it and putting it in their atmosphere to prolong their lifespan on that planet. And they were here for a long time um, mining gold and sending it back to their planet, but they had a worker rebellion. So the people who had been here for so long um, rebelled against their supervisors and so the Anunnaki could not mine any more gold. They basically went on strike. So after this happened, the Anunnaki decided to create their own species of basically slaves to mine gold. And that is how we came to be. They created, they, com they combined their DNA with Syrian DNA, which also had a hand in um, several different things on this planet. And then they used surrogate mothers um, after they combined their DNA, the Syrian DNA, and the hominid species DNA from this planet. Um, they used surrogate Anunnaki mothers to birth these children. And that's how the story of uh, Adam and Eve came to be. Um, if you look at the the story, the, the 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 story in the Bible is a is a parable. Um, you have to think outside the box when you're reading the Bible because the Bible is written in parables. It's mostly written about you and your internal struggles. So, um, but that's that's for another video. We're going to get into the Bible uh, a little bit later. But uh, as for right now. Um, the Anunnaki created us, and long story short, we basically were combined with other alien species DNA, or extraterrestrial DNA, and uh, that's how um, we have different species or different races on And that's why we have so many cultural differences, is just because those, those cultural differences are actually just ancestral memory from these uh, alien races from other planets um, and their their rituals and their their cultures and, and things like that so I just wanted to basically bring this to the light because here soon like I said we're gonna get full disclosure uh, it's gonna be part of the the final love wave or the great awakening it's going to change the planet forever it's going to um, bring the truth to the light. Everyone's going to be aware of it. Uh, now what, what they do with it is on them. They're going to, a lot of people are going to rebel. They're not going to believe it. Or if they do believe it, they're going to rebel against the species that are not from this planet because they're going to think that they are evil or they're here to enslave us. When in reality, the ones that wanted to enslave us have been defeated for a long time. It's just they still have control of the planet because we all have free will and we choose basically for those beings to uh, control us and enslave us. But people are waking up to the truth that we are enslaved. We are being manipulated and controlled in every aspect of our lives from the education system to the healthcare system to energy to uh, global warming, you name it, it's all being part of this, it's it's a big part of this this global narrative of deep state control, which the deep state or the darkness, as I refer them to or to them, um, they manipulate every single thing that ever happens. 
or they try anyways. Um, but some people are able to see right through their shit. And I'm one of those people. Every time I see something on a commercial or like, let's say there is a, uh, we'll just say some kind of award show or something like that. You can see, you can literally see the signs. You can see the writing on the wall and it's obvious as hell. Pretty much everything that you see on TV is some kind of satanic ritual, which I will say, Satan is not what the Bible says it is. It's not 100% um, true. Satan is within all of us, just like God is within all of us. So you have the capability of good and evil. So it's your free will to choose what you do uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you choose to be evil, you're choosing Satan. And if you if you choose to help your fellow man and woman, then you are displaying more characteristics closer to God. These satanic rituals, when you do a little research into them, you start to understand especially if you've had a spiritual awakening before because you start to understand how energy works and how energy um, can be manipulated and controlled. And the satanic rituals, what they are is for on a fourth dimensional level, there are beings that feed off of fear and trauma. So those beings that feed off of fear and trauma use satanic rituals and um, things to create fear and division within the uh, world. They use those things as basically a buffet um, to feed off of people's fear and trauma. And um, we basically, at, in the beginning when, the, when humanity was created, we basically chose to allow this enslavement to take place because on a, on a soul level, on a spiritual level, you understand that when you allow um, these traumas to happen to you, you grow spiritually because when in reality, the all these beings, even the fourth dimensional negative ones that feed off of fear and trauma, they are you. They are part of you. They are an aspect of you on a universal level because everything is one thing. So you can't judge these beings you can't because judgment only only creates more anger and separation and separation is what they feed off of this separation creates division within yourself and they are able to control and manipulate you that way so just be aware of the things that are going on in your head because all, everything is interrelated so every single thought that you've ever had whether it's good or bad has been created basically to either wake you up or to keep you in the game and in the sleep and we are all universal beings um, basically sleeping right now this is a dream and we are waking up and it's not an instantaneous wake up it's a slow gradual process um, but it's also a rapid one for some people especially people who have already had spiritual awakenings um, the ones who have had spiritual awakenings already those are the ones that are meant to teach the masses those are the ones that are meant to assist the rest of the people who are going to be in denial about all this because it's challenging their worldview and they don't like um, their worldview um, challenged and that's that's part of ego ego is meant to keep you in one worldview it's not meant to um, you are not meant, on an ego level, you are not meant to be aware that there are other worldviews or perspectives that you can adopt. And you can't judge the egos either because the egos were literally designed to um, keep you alive at certain points um, in our evolution. But we have transcended past the point of ego because you don't have to lie, cheat, and steal to get resources. You don't have to fend off anim wild animals and things of that nature because um, we are more advanced now and we have protections from those things and society has pretty much 
established a somewhat uh, successful source of bartering, uh, which is our gold reserves or our monetary systems. And the truth is, we don't even have any gold left. We have no gold. The paper money that you're using on a daily basis, whether you're in the United States or abroad, um, is basically null and void. It's, uh, it's just paper. It has no value to it anymore. And the truth is we've been basically lied to for pretty much ever since we were created to keep these beings that feed off of us in power, keep them in control. The ones, the deep state who control the governments, that control the media, that control the education system, that basically the healthcare system, I mean, you name it, they control every aspect of it. And if you look, if you pay attention, you can actually discover signs of this. And sometimes the signs, like I said, are right in your face. And on the flip side of that, we have other than human species that are wanting to see us move on to be galactic citizens because the truth is we all have the capability of traveling anywhere in the universe because everything is consciousness, everything is one thing. So when you know that on a deep level, you can actually discover that there are portals that you can use to travel anywhere you want, whether it's another dimension or this reality, um, it doesn't matter, you have the ability to travel there. And not only do you have the ability to travel there, but you have the ability to travel forward in time and backwards in time, because time is a third or a fourth dimensional thing. And the fourth dimension is basically a null zone. There, it, it, it doesn't really exist, it's, it, it's hard to explain, but the truth is when you have a spiritual awakening, you, be, you discover that one of those aspects of truth is there is no time. Time is basically a human construct that was created to experience linearly um, this world because everything occurs in the now. There is, no, there is nothing outside of the now because the now is you. The now is the universe. So this now moment is eternity. This is forever. And everything is occurring simultaneously, including alternate dimensions and realities that you are a part of. You have, you are multidimensional. So you have many, 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 many different aspects of yourself. Um, and those aspects could only vary by just one or two things. There are so many different infinite dimensions and realities that the whatever you can think of, that reality exists, and you are a part of that. And those beings that want to help us, which by the way, they go by the Galactic Federation, um, they want to see us be able to um, become official galactic citizens and a part of the Galactic Federation because um, that is our that is our birthright. It is our truth, because um, the only reason why we are limited to this planet, to the third dimensional and fourth dimensional reality, is because we have chosen to be enslaved into the 3D slash 4D matrix, and that 4D matrix or that 3D matrix is crashing because of the Galactic Federation and our efforts um, to increase our consciousness. Because the more we increase our consciousness, um, the more we start to wake up to these truths. Because it just uh, it makes you it makes you more aware. Because raising your consciousness is just raising your awareness, and you can become multi multi dimensionally aware of things that are going on. And I have experience in this. I have experienced many, many, many different instances of my brain thinking in more than 3D or more than 4D. And one of those things that I experienced was I was able to feel um, basically every single being that was watching this planet at that time. And there are a lot of beings from this galaxy and other galaxies 
that are currently watching us because we are basically like um, we're like a we're like a we're like the Super Bowl to them, and they, there are bets, there are um, assumptions and opinions on what we are going to do with our free will, and there are two main theories. Um, one theory is we are going to basically self-destruct through nuclear or other means. The other theory is we are going to ascend to the fifth dimension. And the ascension to the, to the fifth dimension is part of the divine plan. And the, the, the divine plan wants us to become gods in physical form. That is the ultimate divine plan. And we are heading towards that at an astounding rate. It is, um, we are on the cusp of a golden age of gods living on this planet. People who are going to be able to travel wherever they want. People who are going to be able to manifest whatever they want. And those people are meant to be way showers for other third dimensional and fourth dimensional planets as to what you can, if, if you live from a place of unconditional love and care, care for everyone as yourself, because they are yourself, um, you can become galactic and universal citizens. And the Galactic Federation wants to um, assist us in a more direct way, a face-to-face -face way. And here soon we are going to start um, working with the Galactic Federation and uh, their many different um, races and they are going to help us teach the masses. They are going to help us ascend ourselves and they're also, by, by helping us, they're helping themselves because when one species ascends, everybody ascends on some level. And I've actually experienced this as well um, when I was galactically aware of what was going on. I also became aware of ascensions that are taking place, and I felt that ascension. Um, it wasn't quite as strong as you would feel it as, you, as if you were actually ascending, but um, you get a little precursor or a little glimpse into what ascension feels like. And I will tell you right now, ascension is beyond words. It is unreal um, how it feels and what you become aware of. Ascension basically is, it feels like a star exploding within your body that is affecting every single atom in your entire being and beyond because the atoms are basically an overlay of your spiritual self. And when you ascend and that star explosion happens, it affects every single thing in the universe and beyond. Um, everything that is a part of God or the Creator um, feels this on some level. It's just when you are lower on the ascension scale or lower in dimensional um, terms, you don't quite feel it as much because you are more engrossed in that reality. But when you meditate, you become aware of more subtle energies. And one of those subtle energies is other beings. And right now you have the ability to communicate with basically whoever you want. If you are uh, an avid meditator and you have at least a couple years of experience of meditation, you can, you can communicate with any being in the universe. Um, those beings are um, basically part of you. They are an aspect of you. They are a local consciousness and you are a local consciousness. And when you meditate, you unlocalize yourself. You become less than local because you expand your um, awareness uh, beyond your physical body and your physical reality.
and you can become aware of the um, what's going on in our galaxy as well as the universe um, just by meditating and um, stilling the mind to a point where you can observe the subtle energies that are flowing through your body because everything as I said is interconnected and I want you guys to become aware of this truth because the more aware of, of uh, you are of other beings you open up that line of connection for the entire planet not just one uh, person it it helps everybody and the reason why we need this connection is because they're going to they can they can help us ascend and they can also um, give us access to plans and designs for technology and eventually they will even bring us technology uh, which they have before if you have done any research into this you will know that um, over the last 20 years or so we have made tremendous strides as far as technology goes with um, with our cell phones with the internet with GPS I mean you name it there, there has been insane progression um, a non-linear progression and if you if you have done any research into this, you know that that nonlinear progression has been um, a direct influence from other alien species. And they have brought us technology that um, some of it is, or m the majority of it is here to help us. Um, things like free energy or zero point energy, um, med beds, or um, basically uh, transferring your consciousness from one body to another um, when you have a physical ailment or some kind of issue that is terminal and basically the entire system that we live in today the 3d matrix is designed to keep us away from these technologies because it keeps uh, it keeps money in their pocket through the healthcare system and through um, basically every other system that we have and they are able to enslave us that way but this technology is going to, it's already come to the light. Basically everybody that has done any research into UFOs and, and um, these kinds of things um, will know that zero point energy is basically um, accessing uh, universal, the universal consciousness. And you can draw energy, infinite energy from this, from this field. Think about it this way. We have, in some areas, we have really, really uh, made tremendous strides as far as uh, technological advances go. And in other areas, not so much. And it doesn't make any sense because, like, if you look at cars, for instance, we are still burning dinosaurs to drive our cars around. And we are at the point where we could have free energy and we could have technology that would be able to um, real electric cars, which is what Tesla um, originally came up with, and the reason why he never um, progressed the way he should have, because Tesla was a direct threat to the fourth dimensional entities that keep uh, that stay in power, that are in power. And if you do any research into Thomas Edison, you will know that Thomas Edison was basically a plant, a covert operative for the darkness because he was uh, a direct challenger to basically everything that Tesla did, stole a lot of ideas from many different scientists and claimed them for himself. Um, I think even in Family Guy, they, they basically talked about this. They, they, they kind of called him a dick, which he was, but... Um, Edison was basically there to um, shut Tesla down, and he did. He was successful in that, and that's the reason why we're still burning fossil fuels 100 years later. Nikola Tesla was a cosmically aware person. He was more aware than the uh, collective consciousness at the time, so he was able to access infinite intelligence, and part of that infinite intelligence is a lot of science and a lot of math and those can lead to revelations and we 
have been manipulated for so long because they want us burning fossil fuels and they want us um, taking their medicine and their um, food because like I said, that keeps them in power, that keeps them in control, and it keeps their buffet line open. And this is going to be a multi-part series, so I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. But I just wanted to um, really start making you guys more aware of the changes that are going on on this planet and just how much um, other extraterrestrial races are affecting us. I mean, they even created us, so... We need to acknowledge that fact because the sooner we all acknowledge them on a collective consciousness level, then we can uh, start to work with them more on a face-to-face -face basis. And uh, that hopefully that starts very soon, which I have a gut feeling it will. I think this year is going to be um, a huge turning point for humanity in general, and uh, it's going to be a huge flop for the darkness. So. If you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. You guys have a great day.